Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm Shree Fon, and you're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, consider becoming a part of this family. You will be blessed bountifully in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is a um, an urgent word an urgent word because the lord had said this word to you god has spoken about this to you yet you are dragging your feet god says that he had want you to leave but you're dragging your feet the lord says he had want you to leave but yet you are dragging your feet and this prophetic word is a specific word to you because God had spoken to you concerning something and the Lord had asked you to to leave that place to relocate to leave that relationship God had asked you to back off to back out of that decision but yet you have not been able to carry out that instruction you have been dragging your feet on that particular instruction and the lord gave me this particular scripture to bring this word to life you know the lord gave me the scripture from the book of proverbs chapter 14 verse 12. the bible says that there is a way that seems right to a man but the end is destruction there is a way that seems right to a man but the end is destruction the message translation says that there is a way of life that looks harmless enough but it leads straight to hell. You know, the reason why God gave me this scripture is because this person I'm talking about, you don't think that what you're doing is wrong. You see, you are an obedient person. You're someone who loves the Lord, someone who is dedicated and committed to God. You don't think that this decision is wrong. You don't think that this choice you have taken is, is harmless, is bad, is evil. Because when God began talking to my heart, I began asking myself questions because nobody will do. No, there is nobody doing evil who wants to do evil. There's nobody who is in a certain wrong path and, and, and who knows that they are in the wrong path and who decides to stay there and that is when the lord opened my eyes to this scripture you know message translation of the book of verse 14 verse 12 says there is a way of life that looks harmless enough there is a way of life that looks harmless enough he says look again at least straight to hell he says look again and this is my focus my focus on this particular uh, aspect you don't think that the decision is wrong you don't think that the choice you have made is wrong because looking at it in itself it looks amazing this person is amazing they they, they 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 might not be a christian but they are they are ethical the they are they are moralist oh this company pays you good oh you are able to feed your children this place you are living at is a good place you are able to get some jobs able to raise more money and and, and the, 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 the the challenge when you obey this instruction from god is because you have looked around you and everything looks good everything looks okay there is nothing it doesn't look like the decision is bad it doesn't look evil and so that is the reason why you are finding it difficult to obey this word and the lord says that sometimes there is a way that looks harmless enough sometimes there is a way that might look so harmless he says look again it leads straight to hell the ncv translation says some people think they are doing right but in the end it leads to death you see, when God begins to talk about something not being right for a person or something not being right or something being wrong, sometimes it's not in the human definition of right and wrong. Sometimes it might be unrelated to the, to the standards you have used to, 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 to measure your right or measure your wrong. You see, God doesn't look at right or wrong from his perspective, from a general perspective of good or evil. He looks at it from the, he looks at it, sorry, from the perspective of his purpose for your life when god begins to, to to talk about something concerning a person's life and saying this is wrong or saying this is right it's unrelated to to the to your definition or our human definition of good or bad but it is more connected to our 
purpose and to his plans for our lives. So I want you to understand that the reason why God is giving you this instruction is not because that guy is bad, that girl is bad, or the country where you're based is a bad country or no. It's because God has a purpose. You see, and if you are able to be in God's perfect will for your life, there is a certain level of insurance that you get. I told us, I've told my, my family, my, my YouTube ministry family, that there is something that the, the perfect will of God gives you that you might not or you cannot find anywhere else. It's called grace. When you are in the perfect will of God, he makes grace available for certain situations, for certain conditions that you might not find if you are not in his perfect will. So God is not speaking to you from the point of good or evil, no, as in the general definition of it, no. God is speaking to you from the point of your life, his purpose for your life. So the earlier you, you, you obey that instruction, the better. The earlier you can submit yourself to his will, the better, you know. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy that if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. It's not every land. It is your land. There is a place assigned for you. There is a place assigned for you. Guess what? You can you, you, you can make it everywhere, but you cannot get to the maximum of your potentials everywhere. There are certain places that God puts you in. Oh, that God places you in and then you begin to see the, 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 the fullness of your potentials. Yes. So I want to explain this word for you to understand because in itself, that decision looks harmless. It has helped you, it has blessed you. It's the reason why your life looks better. But the reason why God is asking you to leave is because it's, it's, it's affecting your purpose. It's affecting his will for your life. It's affecting where he wants to take you to. So I pray that God will give you the grace to, to obey this word, I pray that God will open your eyes to see beyond, to see beyond your decision, to see beyond your present circumstance, to be able to see where he's taking you to. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Shalom.